hello guys welcome to today's video by trust stanley and um, this is a ts tech talks video guys so i'm going to be showing you guys everything that you can do on your telegram app on your iphone so i already made version of this video for android users you can go ahead and check the description or check my playlist to know how to do that so this is the group i actually created previously and the group name is called news app right and then when you open this group right now the first thing you notice after you created the group is actually um some information about the group you notice we can have up to 200k members persistent chat history and also public link such as um t.me slash title which is probably the public link of this group and then admin with different rights we can actually assign admin and give them different rights meaning we can have a moderator and um uh, let me say a moderator and admin and an editor right so we can have all of that on your group give them different right or different privileges as it's going to be and then let them manage the group so the first thing you actually need to do on the group is to add more members to your group click on the add members and you can see everybody that are on your members list and then you can go ahead and type in or select the members i'm actually going to I'm going to search for somebody and then and then I'm going to add even more people so these are the only people that i want to add right now so i just added three more people to the group and then in order for us to edit our group right um you can click on this group id the group name go ahead and click on that and it brings you to this area now under this area you can see different things you can see the first button that has also allows us to add more members you can see the mute button if you do not want to receive notification for the group from the group and you can notice the voice chat option and you can notice search that is when you want to search um, some information or content within the group and when you click on more you can easily leave the group by that clicking on that option and the next um, area it displays all of the members in the group and if there are more people you can go ahead and scroll down but there there is no much other person on the group apart from me and all of these people i just added now right and the next thing to do guys if you want to edit the group name and the description of the group and do more or something on your group you notice the edit button on the top right hand corner go ahead and click on that now when you click on the edit button it uh, the first thing it displays is the cancel icon the profile image and then the button that says done which is probably if you're done with the setting image and if you want to set a new profile image you can click on set new profile image and you can either say keep current selection or you click on select more photos by adding even more photos so i'm going to go ahead and choose this particular image right now click on done and um, I'm going to select the image and zoom in to display it this way. I want it to be zoomed in. Actually, there is no information. And then I'm going to click OK. You can go ahead and write something by selecting all of these. I'm actually going to undo that on the top area. Confirm, confirm to select. Just go ahead and edit before uploading. And now it has been uploaded. And this is our new profile image. And then the next one we need to do is to change our group name. So I'm going to change this name to TS Tech Tutor. All right. And I'm going to. Um, leave that because i am okay with that and the next option the bottom area it has a description go ahead and tap on the description to add a description so i'm going to say so for tutorial purpose all right i'm okay with the description so that is our title and this is our description anybody joining the group will be able to see the description and i'm going to um tap on done because it's still displaying that area i wanted to leave this area and confirm the save and i'm going to come right back i'm going to tap on the edit once more and then we are back i wanted it to remove the um keypad 
from showing so that i continue now the next option you notice where it has group type right and it's actually set on private on default now go ahead and click that to adjust that now what this actually means is let me go ahead and cancel out and cancel out also um let me show you guys what it means now if um if you click on this area right now and you can notice um not this area i think under contact you notice this area right now you can easily search for the group by typing ts tech now it only displays the names and let me click on find allow i'm actually going to allow this i just want to show you guys what i'm talking about now i've allowed i'm coming back and now you notice it displays now if there you notice this area where it says groups right these are all of the groups that are available within this location now you can notice that the ts tech is not displaying right there the reason why it's not displaying is because it's not set to public now if you want it to be discovered on public or maybe by search all you need to do is to come to the chat or the group area which is ts tech um i'm going to click on this and I'm going to actually click on the edit once more and you notice where it says group type type or tap on it and then set it to public and now when you click on public you notice there is a description below that says um, public group can be found in search search history is available to everyone and everyone can join the group now it actually means everyone can easily join the group and also they can easily discover it by searching and also when you tap on this private you can notice that if it's on private private group can only be joined if you were invited or if you have a link you get that so depending on what you want to do just go ahead and select an option that you want and note guys if you make it a public group you will have to create a name manually you have to create a link manually so in order for you to create a link manually go ahead and tap on the below area and then i'm going to make it ts tech and quick note guys this is actually not going to this is actually not going to be related to any available name you notice where it says sorry this name is already taken right now all of the reason why it's showing that is because the name is already been chosen by someone else so that is the reason why it's saying the name is not available so when you enter any name that someone else is already been using it's not going to be available for you to use so make sure you use a unique name that um everybody don't have or people can easily uh, mimic so once you're done with that click on done on the top right area and you can notice it says please note that if you choose a public link you um link for your channel anyone will be able to find you in search and join do not create this link if you want your channel to stay public so go ahead and click on ok because i want to create the link and i'm actually okay with that particular option and then go ahead and click on done and then for some reason you notice our profile logo have actually changed now i'm going to click on edit set profile logo i'm going to choose this and then confirm so the reason why the profile logo changed was because um our group actually reverted and then for some reason the group type is still under private i want this to be on public now click on done there is an error that is because it's already on public but for some reason the network is actually being affected so i'm going to close this out i'm going to close that particular page um that particular telegram app just to confirm if it's either network or if it's probably because um okay it has been created i think probably it was still loading then that's the reason why it didn't display so now let's go back to the edit area so you notice now our group type is already on public and now we have four members so click on the permission area tap on that and now you can notice it says um there are different permissions the first one send message create emoji and then all of those stuffs now you can go ahead and add in any um any option that you want but you notice there are two different options down there for the pin messages and also to change the group info now the reason why those options are there on default they are disabled on default is because our group is under public now if you change your group to private you can go ahead and use this option you can notice when i clicked on it it says permission is available is not available in public groups right now click on okay we are okay with that now we can easily add members send pool and then um embed link 
send stickers, send media, and also send messages. Now, this can be done by anybody in the group. And then there are also um, another thing that says we can do a slow mode. Now, you notice on the bottom area, it says choose how long members can wait before sending their um, test messages. Now, if probably I leave this to be turned on, then that's fine. But if I leave this on 10 seconds, that means members will need to wait every 10 seconds after they send a message for this group to be entered. So uh, by doing that, actually, it makes the group um, it makes the group very uh, slow and it doesn't make it very bulky like somebody can be chatting and then another person replying and then messages will be flying here and there. If you want it to be reduced, you can just control that by saying 20 or 10 seconds or even one minute if you want. But leave this turned off if you do not want to make use of that particular option. Now let's back out. So if for some reason, guys, you want to actually um, remove, if you, if you actually want to make a new administrator, which is a new admin, you can go ahead and click on this administrator area, click on add admin and select anybody you want to make an admin. Now I'm going to choose this first person. Um, okay, you know what? Let me choose my other account. And then I'm going to make this person an admin. Now. If you are making this person an admin, you can actually choose what you want the person to be doing. Now, if you want the person to be changing group info, delete messages, ban users, and invite users, you can leave all of those links. But if you, do not want, if you do not want them to pin messages, you can go ahead and deselect and deselect also to deselect um, the video chat and, and anything you do not want the person to be able to do. Now, if you are okay with this, go ahead and click on done. And when you click on done, you notice now the person is now an admin. Now we have two different admin and you notice it says the person was promoted by um, trust part, which is actually the, group, um, the super admin or the group owner. Now I'm going to back out. You notice now we have two administrator. You can go ahead and add even more if you want. And then if you notice on this last area, we have um, remove user option. If you click on that, you notice there is nobody that has been removed. So if for some reason you want to remove everybody, just tap on remove user and you can tap on the person you want to remove and they will be appeared on this area. And now if you back out and click on the members area, you notice the person that we remove is no longer displaying there. So guys, there are a lot of things you, you can do on your Telegram, but I'm going to be covering that on my next video. And just stay safe guys and make sure you subscribe to the channel like the video and i'm going to see you on my next video stay safe and peace